Hi there, welcome to this video. In this one here, we're going to run our pre-made action on our whole group of photos. I've got a folder of 10 photos, and now this is a very small amount. Uh, we, it could be up to a 1,000 photos uh, that we're gonna process all at once. It uh, completely depends on the images, what we're doing, and uh, the process. I've just done 10 uh, to make it easy for demonstration purposes. Anyway, we've got our action that we created. Uh, let's have a look at that. That's in our actions folder here, and we've got it called black and white, and it's a conversion to black and white there from color. Um, okay, so what we're going to do first of all is actually open our photos. Uh, I've got a folder here of images. Just going to open them up. So we've got all these different photos. We're going to apply this single action to all of them at once. And we can do that by coming up to the uh, file menu, then selecting automate, and then select batch. Now, right up the top here it says play, and this is talking about the action that we're going to use. And we, we're going to use our black and white one and select our black and white action. And the source here can be a folder you can import, or you can actually use the open files. Now, because we're in Photoshop, we already opened our files up. Um, they're already there, so we're just going to run it on them. Destination, here you can actually save and close. Uh, so you can have the images already save and close um, immediately after, or you can have them save to an individual folder, and you can even rename the uh, photos and have sequential numbers put in after them. You can see here you can save it, uh, the document name. You can actually... Um, write whatever you want. You can have serial numbers in there or you can add a serial number here after the document name uh, and then you can have the extension of the file in lowercase or uppercase and here it shows you uh, how that's going to come out. Um, for this example though I'm just going to select none for that and I'm just going to run these actions on all the open photos. Now all I need to do is click on OK and you'll see now boom it's actually processed all 10 images Let's have a look here. You can see they all have their adjustment layers, so they're all black and white. Fantastic, how easy was that? Very simple, very easy to do. And you're gonna be blown away when you see what's coming up next because there's even easier ways to do this and even faster ways of doing it too. But that is the essence of it where you create, first of all, you create a pre-made action of something that uh, you commonly do. You can even assign shortcut keys to it, uh, like the F keys, as we've mentioned there. Um, and then you can either open those images in Photoshop. You can source them from a folder and then have them save out to a folder. Keep in mind, though, if you're saving it as a JPEG file, that it will want to ask you uh, what type of compression you'd like to save each image. Um, very easily done, though, and it's a great way of reducing the amount of time that you're spending in post-production. Have a great day. I'll see you on the next video. In the next one, we're going to look at the Adobe Bridge, which is even more powerful uh, in the way that we can um, automate processing our files. Have a great day, and we'll see you on that one.